Yo, yo, yo. Nick Lesigor here. Brendan Delakiai. Exit 12. Brewery. In the house! Very good. I feel like that was one of the weaker ones, but... Yeah. Brandon likes weak stuff, so what are you going to do? Wow. Okay. This is what happens when you're in down the home stretch of the beer reviews for the uh, dual grain triple play hop experiment. You start insulting each other. Yeah, you get nasty. I didn't insult you, by the way. Factually correct. For the record. I'm sure there will be one thrown at me before the end of this review. With that said, the last review in the band of brew tubers, Mike Dean, dual grain, triple play, double IPA, hop experiment. That goes moving. It's my boy, Josh Secor. That's right, right? Yeah. With so. the Cashmere Comet, he calls this. Phenomenal um, artwork. Artwork here. He's got the car. Oh, wait. Well, that's the bar. The Cashmere Comet. And then he's got the car right there. Pretty sweet. And he's got the hop schedule there. So let's read off. Oh, also, got to have the American flag cap because America. Uh, one ounce of Magnum. Uh, he's got four ounces of Comet. Eight ounces of Comet, which he wore cooled at 180 degrees. Four ounces of Cashmere at High Crozen, which is a dry hop. Croizen. Croizen, Croizen, Croizen. Fine. That, that means for the people that are watching that aren't like super homebrew privy, that's like the, the, the top of fermentation where everything's kind of moving. Yep. Yeah, um, a lot of New England IPAs, uh, that's where you get your permanent haze from, uh, is from the High Crozen. Facts. Facts. And then lastly, four ounces of cashmere as a double dry hop. So uh, I think that was after the high croizen. Croizen, croizen. And so this is the final beer in the experiment. Um, once more before we open this, just wanted to thank everybody. Yes, um, thank you. Too many names to mention, but namely um, Mike Dean. I can't yeah. thank you enough, brother. Thank you for uh, letting us do this. This is our first time. Yeah. As brew tubers, our first time doing something like this with other home brewers, yeah. and uh, we're very appreciative and yeah. we're very thankful. So yeah, it's been excellent. Um, the brew tuber community has welcomed us, and it's been a great experience. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing to be honest. Uh, no drama, which we can appreciate. Uh, it's all good vibes, all positivity. So we definitely appreciate that. And because of that, there will be more videos hopefully to come. Um, but until then. Let's pop this little day open, shall we? Oh, Peaky Blinders. Oh, that was a good reference. Uh, yeah, so I'm expecting this to be, you know, very hazy, um, just by process. Um, I hope this it, thing comes out clear as day. <laughs> I was looking at it, it was like a little clear. I was, I was getting pretty, uh, pretty scared there. Um, yeah, uh, it was Comet. I'm trying to remember the other ones because I'm not a good listener. Um, oh, uh, looks like Comet, Ma uh, Magnum as a boil, mm -hmm. a bittering, Comet as the finishing, and then and Cashmere, Cashmere as a dry hop. Cashmere is the name of the beer. Yeah, so uh, definitely looking forward to this. It's a little clear. It is a little clear. I'm Big ol' swing and a miss on that one. Listen. From the B-Man. Um, but on it's the darker nice end... Don't. It's got a little haze. It does. I poured don't out the lie. entire. Don't lie to the people. I poured out the entire bottle so that he wouldn't be totally wrong. Um, but it looks uh, on the darker end. Yeah, a little darker. Um, but still a, a very nice color. Uh, my hand is in the way. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, like a a, a dark, uh, not even amber, like a dark gold, maybe. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I think that's that's. Solid. I think it's a little bit darker than like the burnt orange aspect. Sure. Uh, can we put like the little Kaparuski? Sure. It's gonna take you forever. It is. So maybe we should skip that part. Or I just nailed it. Uh, also, I think rustle up some. I think I'm gonna rustle up some bubbles here. Sure. Lacing's good. Um, carbonation looks very good. Nothing floating. No. Uh, yeah. In terms of all the other beers, clean. sorry. In terms of all the other beers, it's probably a little bit on the lower end of the carb spectrum. Not to say it's undercarbed, but comparative to you know some of the other beers that are 
uh, probably a little bit higher on the car. This sure. seems maybe it's a tiny bit lower. Yeah. Um, again, not a hit or like, you know, it's not a negative of the beer. Just, uh, just an observation. Um, let's grab a Snip Dainsky. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna run out of them. <laughs> this smells phenomenal. Yeah, so a uh, little lemongrass, that malt character's coming through, caramel, um, like a rich, you know, um, I think you said it was one time you, you described it as cooked caramel or uh, something like that. That's a pretty apt description. Um, I almost get like a galaxy hop aspect to this, hmm. which is very fascinating. Um, I understand what you're saying with the malt mm -hmm. backbone. Yeah, it might be that cashmere. Um, it's got this like a, a explosion of like a tropical fruit, like what you would, like I can't point to any specific fruit, but sort of like a fruit basket. It's it's like um grapefruit. I'm getting grapefruit. Um, I can maybe see even that. a little guava. So maybe it's more on the citra end than the galaxy. Maybe I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely uh. It's definitely like a grapefruit, like a, a really fresh grapefruit. You can kind of smell the, uh, I gotta do this to the cat, boom. Uh, I don't know if I see any information on the ABV. Uh, we'll have to get that. Yep. But it, it does smell a little, like it's got some heat to it. Sure. And when Nick says heat, he means boozy. For sure, yeah. It's, you know what I'm starting to get? A little more is a pear. Like a pear, like a... Yeah, like a ripe pear. Yeah. Maybe like, a, like an overripe pear. Like a perfectly ripe pear. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, boy, that, that's, um, that's fun. The cashmere, uh, you know, I don't have huge experience with cashmere. Me um, neither. So this will be interesting. It will be. Uh, <laughs> with that said, <laughs> we should find out just how interesting this is going to be. Uh, Josh... Cheers, bro. Cheers, Josh. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. This is a great gift. And we are going to enjoy this. Absolutely. You didn't know how to end that. I was just waiting for you to draw <laughs> your glass. You just, this dude just sitting here forever like we cheers in or not, Nick. Okay. <laughs> Salute. Yeah, definitely tropical. Um, very, yeah, it's like grapefruit. It is. It's like a like a grapefruit juice. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, the bitterness is is very light. It doesn't it doesn't feel. I mean, we were all supposed to be in the same like IBU range of the eighties. I'm sure this is, but it's masked so well. Yeah, I think. Uh... I'm not quite getting the tropical aspect. In fact, it's very light to me. Now, with that said, we did just have Larry Lentz Lambro 22's beer right before this, and that was very bitter, and we did not eat, eat anything to kind of cleanse the palate. But this is very light to me, and, and for any perceived heat that I may be smelling, I'm not getting it yeah, no. on the taste at yeah. all. I mean, it's, it's very light. Yeah, very smooth. Um, smooth is a great way to put it, and I think I think you did well with the grapefruit descriptor. Mm -hmm. To me, it's almost like a diet grapefruit, almost sure. like it's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. the grapefruit's on the lighter end. Yeah, um, it's very smooth. It's it's extremely smooth, um, which is very interesting. Extremely drinkable. Yeah, I, considering I'm, the. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm very curious to see what this. ABV is because yeah. this is like borderline lawnmower beer. Like I could crush these. Yeah. Um, that's very good. I mean, it's this thing's gonna go down easy. Mm -hmm. It's almost like water. I mean, I think uh, it could. Maybe it's the hops. I mean, we've we've never really messed around with the cashmere or the comet. Um, but with that said, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's very very light. You know, I think it's very, but it's smooth. It tastes very well made. Yep. Maybe it's a water chemistry aspect. Sure. Yeah. It's definitely, um, it's definitely smooth. It 
it's it's definitely uh, you know crushable. Um, yeah, it's like a it's like a summer sipper, which is uh, I guarantee if we saw what the the ABVs were and the IBUs were, they're probably right in the range of everybody else. But this is so well done of of hiding those with the um, the malt character and the hop character. Um, very well done. Yeah, no, I agree overall. Um, Josh, again, thank you. This is phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, we already thanked everyone in the beginning, so uh, we'll probably cut this short. But um, once again, uh, thank you so much, uh, Josh. Great beer. Yes. And uh, we're already looking forward to getting into the next experiment, whatever that may be, whether we're joining the experiment or creating it. We've already talked about some things, maybe doing like a stout experiment with all used, everybody using a different yeast. I mean, that would be interesting. Maybe something imperial. Uh, so you could kind of get the, the yeast profile or yeah. do something else. Uh, we will admit this probably wasn't down our, uh, this wasn't no. in our wheelhouse in terms of style. So we don't want everyone that drinks it to kind of rate our beers off of that. We'd love to send you some other stuff. But with that said, we thought the beer that we made was good. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought many, if not all of the beers that we've tried were better. Yeah. And we realized that there are things we have to change. But sure. Overall, it's a great learning experience. I know I learned a lot about hops through this experiment, yeah. about taste profile and smell, you know, the aroma. Yeah, um, yeah I, think, um, I think, you know, look out for some of our beer reviews. We'll be reviewing our own beers. I think we're very harsh on our beers, but this has definitely uh, opened our eyes to a lot of different processes that uh, we would have not had a chance, you know, to because we really, there's a decent homebrew community here, but uh, we've been pretty much me and this guy so <laughs> For the it most is part, yeah. it is good to get out there and, and um try different things and i think it's it's opened our eyes to a lot of different processes absolutely once again guys thanks so much we appreciate cheers. it cheers to everyone and uh we'll be seeing you around